equals 2 times capital Phi of negative the absolute value of T superscript act uh, 5.2 uh, explain how you could use a regression model to estimate the wage uh, gender gap using the data on earnings of men and women what are the dependent and independent variables answer 5.2 the wage gender gap for uh, 2015 can be estimated using the regression in equation 5.19, page uh, 148, and the data summarized in the 2015 row of table 3.1. Page 80, the dependent variable is the hourly earnings of the ith person in the sample. The dependent variable is a binary variable that equals 1 if the person is a male and equals 0 if the person is a female. The wage and gender gap in the population is the population coefficient beta sub 1 in the regression which can be estimated using beta hat sub 1. The wage and gender gap for the other years can be estimated in a similar fashion. View 5.3. Define homoscedasticity and heteroscedasticity. Provide a hypothetical empirical example in which you think the errors would be heteroscedastic, heteroscedastic and explain your reasoning. 5.4. Consider the regression, the regression uh, capital uh, big Y sub I equals beta sub naught plus beta sub 1 big X sub I plus U sub I, where big Y sub I denotes a worker's average hourly earnings measured in dollars, and big X sub I is a binary or indicator variable that is equal to 1 if the worker has a college degree and is equal to 0 otherwise. Suppose beta sub 1 equals 8.1. Explain what this value means. Include the units of beta sub 1 in your answer. Answer 5.4. In this regression, Beta sub naught denotes the average values of earnings for non-college graduates. Uh, big X equals zero, and beta sub naught plus beta sub one denotes the average value of earnings for college graduates. Big X equals one. Thus, beta sub one denotes the difference in average earnings between college graduates and non-college graduates. If beta sub 1 equals 8.1, then on average, college graduates earn $8.10 more per hour than non-graduates.